Rachel Super Cute Creation. He's having a great day. Um, I am getting ready to put new mini kits into my um, Etsy shop. And basically what they're going to be is they're going to be junk journal, art journal. My, my thought process behind them is this is your place to kind of practice and play. And um, I'm getting a lot of my subscribers are saying, you know, I just don't want to um, wreck something. And so this is going to be your place to try things, experiment, and also, um, you know, keep some keep some information in here. So um, each book has 40 pages total. Um, they're all different sizes. They're all different junk um, pieces. And then each kit is going to come with 10 ephemera pieces. Um, and there may be some more items added to it soon. So those of you who are coming in, hello. Thank you for joining. Um, I appreciate you coming in today. And we're just going to kind of play around. Um, for those of you who have been kind of following Linda Israel, she's been doing the Use It Up um, July. And so we're going to kind of do the same thing. So if you're here, please say hello over on the right hand side because we're going to, I'm going to do some giveaways tonight. Um, so what I've done is I have one of these journals right here. Hi, Carrie. Thanks so much for joining. And um, just putting a mat underneath it. And then I just have some parchment paper because we're going to do some mixed media to start. And I started to do this off camera. And then I thought, you know what, I'm just going to turn it um, on today. And we're just going to do this live. So I hope that YouTube's working out okay. And we don't have any issues going on. So um, this is going to be sort of my play journal. And hello, everyone. Thanks for coming in. Um, and so this is from one of the kits. I just opened up one of the kits. And here's my little pieces over here that we're going to play with. And I'm going to add some other pieces that I have. But I kind of wanted to show you what are some things you can do with this journal. And I'm thinking, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking those who purchase these little kits will get um, some exclusive videos of what they can do with their kit, okay? So I'm just going to kind of flip through what we have going on here. Um, there's just different pages, book pages, coffee dyed paper, so on. Here's where I started. So this was a piece of scrapbook paper. I'll show you the other side. And I just put some white paint over it because I didn't like the scrapbook paper. And that's what I wanted to kind of show you today and kind of focus on um, some coloring pages. Is This is what the paper looked like. And in each of these kits, there's some scrapbook paper. And you may like it or you might not like it. It might just not be your theme. So I wanted to kind of show you what you can do with that. So I just took a piece of scrap uh, paper and I kind of slid it underneath. And um, then you want to take something to cover up the other side as well because you don't want to get paint on this side. So this is just a piece of parchment paper. I have this really old Craft Smart white paint. And so I'm just going to use this. And all I did is take an old, um, this is a Dave and Buster's card when we took my daughter. Um, and all I'm doing is just spreading this paint. I'm just kind of spreading it out. And I don't want it real thick because I want it to dry. Now, I'm not going to use my dryer on camera because that's noisy. And a lot of people don't like that sound. Um, make sure you keep this under paper. Close to the edge so that you don't have. Oh, I'm sorry. Those are my dogs barking. Oh, fur babies. Hang on one second. I'm just going to let them out. Oh, Annabelle. Come on. Here, come on. Come on. Come 
Sorry about that. As you know, when you go live, you never know what's going to happen. And so there's somebody walking and my dogs decided they wanted to bark. So anyway, I am just need to add just a smidge more paint. And I'm just giving this sort of a light, you could use gesso if you want. Um, but white paint works as long as you put it on in thin layers. Um, don't glop it on. You can see this is thin scrapbook paper. So it's kind of wrinkling up. I'm okay with that. When this dries completely, it'll be just fine. All right, so I'm just scraping the extra paint away. And I'm going to peel this up off of here. And I'm going to put my other parchment paper underneath. And I'm going to go back to the one that I worked on earlier. So if I lay this on here, it'll be fine. It'll go ahead and it'll dry. So we're going to go back and we're going to go to this page right here. So you can see this page is dry. Um, it gives it a little bit of texture, different texture. Um, and we're going to kind of just work with what we have here. So for those of you who are in here, can you tell me, are we having any um, buffering problems? I'm hoping it's not buffering today and we're not having any issues with that. No buffering. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. So I can still see the brown and the leaves. So I'm going to do just one more layer. Not a lot. I probably already put too much paint on there. Now. The other ways you can sort of do some mixed media and not have to worry about uh, and cover things up is you can always collage. And I'll be doing some collaging as well. But if you don't want to take the time to paint, remember, you can always just collage over these. So you can see that's covering it much better. It's also giving my paper a little bit of stability. And it's giving it texture. It's giving it some amazing texture. All right. So I'm just going to wipe my credit card or my, it's not a credit card, my little gift card. So I don't end up getting it all over. One thing about mixed media is I always tend to get it everywhere. I don't know about you guys, but okay. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And I have a ton of sprays. If you don't have any sprays, um, you can make your own sprays. You can use alcohol. Um, that's just paint. Um, Dodie, it's just paint. Just cheap, craft smart paint. Um, you can use gesso. I personally do not like the texture gesso sometimes puts on. Um, it depends on the paper and what thickness the paper is on whether or not I use gesso. I typically just try to use the white paint. Okay, so I also have some of this gold metallic. And I'm going to just add a little bit to the page. And I'm still going to just use my credit card. And I don't know, if I don't like this, it's fine. I'm going to cover it up. It's kind of giving me a yellow tone. Um, but we're just going to kind of work with it. So I just added some gold. And I'm just using up my paint. You can see I didn't use a lot. You're welcome. All right, so I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And we're going to get, one of the things that I don't use enough of are my stamps. I don't know about you, but I just don't use enough of my stamps. And this page, I'm going to do some inspiration on, um, my inspiration is going to be a hydrangea. 
And so, um, we're going to kind of work with either this little hydrangea card here, or we're going to work with this hydrangea. I'm not sure which one. And the reason why is I have just planted some amazing hydrangea, um, hydrangea plants, and I'm so excited. So we're going to add some purple, maybe a little this, turquoise. Um, I think we'll add a little green. Um, yeah, add a little bit of green. So I'm just getting out these cheap paints. They're cheap. They're, I've had them forever. There's nothing fancy about these. Um, I'm looking for some pink paint which I know I have somewhere. Well, I have this bright pink paint, so we'll, we'll use that. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is it's pretty dry. Um, I know you can't tell because I have paint on my hands, but it's, it's pretty dry. So I can start working with this. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out a plate. And I'm going to start putting some paint on here. So what I do is I will put the paint, put just a smidge of white, not much. I don't know if you can you see me putting this on here. You can see I'm just, let me kind of move it here. Okay, I'm not putting a lot on. And all I'm going to do is take my card and I'm going to kind of just mix the paint like this. Okay. I'm not doing anything. And then I'm going to add this paint to my page. And you want to try to go in one direction. I mean, if you want, you can go multiple directions, but it doesn't give the same effect, I don't think. Um, so I try, I don't want to go this way. I try to just go up and down just to make that. And it kind of gives you a faux jelly print. Um, for those of you who jelly print. Now, you can see I'm kind of going in here because I got to get, but I'm still going to do my final swipe. Whoops down. And so it gives this faux jelly print. If you don't have a jelly print at home and you want that look, we've just kind of created it with a gift card. Okay. So I'm just kind of trying to fill in here. Um, if these are supplies that most people already have in their craft room, and if you don't have them, they're cheap to get. Okay. So there is wipe that off. There is our page. Now, while that's drying, I want to use up the rest of this paint. So I'm just going to pull out of my scrap bin. Um, and you all know that I've been trying to use up my scraps. So um, actually, this is just a piece of white paper that I had sitting here in my scrap bin. I'm not sure why. Oh, I know why, because it's wrinkled up and I don't want to put it through. So those of you who are here, hello, hello, hello. Thank you for joining. We're just doing some mixed media play. So all I'm doing is just using up this paint that's on my palette because I don't want it to go to waste. And if I don't set this, if I don't put something over this, we're going to end up with paint everywhere. That's usually how I roll, guys. I don't know about you, but... Um, this right here it's plastic so I just want to get all this paint off of here and we're going to set this to the side because we will use this as a mop-up page again all right so you can see I didn't waste any paint at all set that to the side and dry and maybe we'll make a tag out of that in a little while all right so this is drying pretty well and so now what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of stenciling. 
um, clean up this paint right here. And I'm going to fold this over so that when I'm stenciling, I don't get that on the other page. Okay, so I have this little chicken wire that I love. And I told you I was going to use a little bit of this green paint. So I think we should do a little bit of chicken wire. So I'm just adding a little tiny bit. Um, and I am going to use, what do I want to use? Well, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to use my finger. And all I'm doing is just putting that green in and pulling up the stencil. Now, I know you can't see it a lot, and that's fine. I don't want a lot to be showing because the green can definitely get to be overpowering. And I don't want that much green in there. Now, here's a perfect example. I don't love how it looks. So I'm going to take my baby wipe and I'm going to do just a quick wipe with it. Because my paint's dry, you can see only the green's coming off. And I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Now, you don't want to do that a ton. Because what will happen is your pages will get soggy and gross. Um, but I'm actually, I'm going to try my dauber. See if I can get a little better effect. So this is just a plat this is just a dauber. And I'm just adding a little bit of texture, not a lot. All right. Just bringing that green in. Hmm. For some reason in this corner, it does not like that green. So you know what? We're not going to put it there. And now I'm just going to wipe off my stencil. And let's get another stencil out. Let's see what else I have in this bin here. Um, I actually have some bubble wrap, which can be fun too. If you, This is just a, a piece of bubble wrap that I use for when I'm working on my, um, my jelly prints. I actually like that texture better giving me a little bit more texture. So I'm not sure if you can see that, how well you can see it, but it's just very subtle. It's bringing green in. All right, now, the next thing I wanna do is get a stamp out. As I said, I don't use stamps like I should. So I'm gonna get a background stamp. We've already done circles, so let's see here. Um, I have this lace stamp, so let's do something with this lace stamp. So I'm getting out my Mementos tuxedo. Hi, everyone. Hi, Selena. How are you? Hi, Erica. Thanks for joining. For those of you who are just, just joining, um, I am in here. And I know, Selena, you bought one of these kits at my live sale. I am here working with one of my new art slash junk journal kits. And, um, there's going to be some new ones in my shop. Um, for those who are interested. And so we're just doing a little play in it today. And we started with some mixed media. So right now, I'm just going to kind of, let's see. Go maybe right along the edge. Let's, let's do that. So I'm stamping along the edge. And there we go. We have this little lace-like texture. Oh, thanks, 
so much, Selena. I appreciate it. We're going to do some giveaways. We're going to have some fun. Um, I'm going to do a deal on these kits um, at the end of the, the play today. So for people who are interested in them, um, you're going to get a deal today. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to use some of this tissue. This is just sewing paper tissue. Um, now, you can use... You can use your Maj Posh if you want. Uh, I'm so sorry. My fur babies are just not cooperating today. Um, but I like to, I like, I don't like that shiny look always on here. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a regular old, hold on, I'm sorry. <laughs> Annabelle, no. So guys, I, I don't know if anybody else has fur babies, but. Mine are not cooperating this evening. Of course, they're almost as bad as children. Um, if you ever had children and you get on the phone and they would start fighting uh, right when you get on the phone or get ready to do something, wasn't that always the case? <laughs> so we're just doing mixed media play. As I said, you know, a lot of my followers are afraid to play around. Um, they're afraid to do it because they don't want to mess something up. Well, this is the journal for you to play in, test out techniques, and then just do a little tiny bit of journaling um, so that you can test out some different techniques and not worry about ruining your journal that you've spent all this time in. And so I'm excited about that to be able to show you guys um, some of that. So I'm just getting my, my page is starting to wrinkle up a little bit. So I'm just kind of flattening it out. So we added this little piece of sewing paper. Um, the other thing I love to do is add music pages. And also I'd like to add um, book pages. So this is my little, my what I call my small bit scrap page. And so we're going to get, thanks so much, Selena. Yeah, please give me a thumbs up. Um, so I'm just taking a little bit of this Heminal and I'm adding it. And please put your shops in. Um, Selena, if you guys have not checked out Selena, she's amazing. Um, you need to go over to her shop and check her shop out. Her shop is Amore Fabrics. And she has amazing prices, amazing stuff. Um, and she's just an amazing person. So if you haven't checked her shop out, please, please, please go over and check her shop out because you will love it. Um, anybody who's in here today who wants to share their shop, please do so. Um, if you have an Etsy shop, please do so. Um, I'm just inking up my edges just a little bit on this. And like I said, it's just a little tiny piece of scrap paper. Nothing big. I'm just going to kind of add it. I think I'm going to add it right here to this corner. Um, so there are rules in the art world. I'm not sure. I'm sure you all know. And so some of you may be panicking because you're saying, Rachel, you're not following the rules. Um, so there are rules about um, threes and fives. And you can look it up. I don't know of the rules. But I go more for texture. I go more for what do I like? And remember, junk journals and art journals are for you. So don't worry about what other people think. Um, you know, my philosophy is so what if they don't like it? And so I'm just adding little pieces of fat, um, not fabric, my add fabric, little pieces of paper Inking it up a little bit. So, so far we've done paint. We've done a little bit of stamping. Um, I'm going to go along here. And the reason why is I don't like that straight edge on the top. This right here is, of course, our pattern paper. Hi. Laughing Dogs Book Nook. What is your first name? So 
So it's so exciting to have all of you in here today. I'm, I just greatly appreciate it. Um, okay, so one of the things that was in my kit was this thing. Hi, Laura. Okay, Laura, thank you. I, You guys, I have to do, um, as I was telling Selena the other day, I need to make a list with everybody's names and their um, their YouTube handles because um, I can't remember and it's horrible. I'm so sorry. I, I don't want to offend anybody. So this was in my, in part of my kit. So we're going to use some of this bingo paper. And the cool thing about this bingo paper is it has some of that green in. And remember, I was trying to bring some green in. So let's see. Where do I want to put it? Well, we're going to kind of lay it there. Um, I'm not loving it yet, so it means I have to add something else. So we're going to keep digging in my little tiny scrap bin. Um, because I'm trying to be like most people right now and doing the use it up, um, I'm trying to use up these little tiny pieces first. So I love the patina on here. Let's see. You know what? I just had an idea. So we're going to use, I'm going to use this piece right here. It's from Grandma's Garden from Calico Collage. Um, and I'm going to cut out this hydrangea. As I told you, the reason why I was inspired by this is because I just planted some hydrangeas in my garden. So what a great way to um, do a little bit of journey. Now, the other thing that a lot of my subscribers talk about is I love to do journals, but I'm not a journaler or I just can't journal as much as some of the other people. Well, you know what? You can journal as much as you want. Um, I don't know if any of you have, have followed um, uh, a lady by the name of, sorry, I can't cut and talk. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Um, a lady by the name of, sorry, I just want to make sure I have it right because I always want to say her name wrong. Okay, yes, it's Miss Rachel Hollis. So she's an author, but she's also a motivational speaker. And um, I've kind of been following her books um, and following, she she wrote a self-help book called Girls Wash Your Face, and you've probably seen it, and some of you may have read it. Um, if you haven't read it and you just want some motivation, um, I think it's a great book. I, I'm not like promoting her or anything because I have no affiliation with her. Um, but I've started to follow her on Instagram and her big thing is, is we as women often downgrade ourselves. And so one of the things she talked about recently is, you know, um, when we give each other compliments, the first thing we say is something to combat what that, that positive piece was. So for example, if I say, you look really nice today, someone might say, Oh, this old thing, I, you know, I just put on the back of my closet. And why do we do that? Why do we downgrade ourselves? Why do we, and, and I find a lot of us in this, um, thank you, Erica. I find this in this world, some of us are afraid to show our work. We're afraid to get out there because we're afraid someone might not like it. And, um, You know, we just have to put ourselves out there because the answer to that, to combat that is, so what? So what if someone doesn't like my art? So what if someone doesn't like my journal? So what if someone doesn't like this collage that I'm doing right now? I'm doing this for me and this is therapy for me. And so I, I say that because I hope all of you that are watching, you know, think about that. So what? So what if someone doesn't like it? So what if 
I, you know, so what if someone doesn't think it's good enough? It's good enough for me. And I wanted to say that today because a friend of mine and I were talking on the phone. And one of the things that we're hearing a lot is people are afraid to post. They're afraid to show their work because they think it might not be good enough. And, and, and we have to just, we have to say, so what? And, and post it. And so I'm just playing. I'm not doing anything but ripping paper. There's no talent here. Okay. I'm just ripping paper. I'm gluing it down. And I am just hoping that I can inspire someone to get some paper scraps out today and, and do this. And um, that's one of the reasons why I created this kit. This is the, the so what kit. You are brand new at um, junk journaling, great. Get this kit, you can't hurt it. It's not expensive, it's not um, It's not gonna cost you a fortune, um, you know, so what? If it's, you know, you make your own junk journals, yeah, you could make one of these, absolutely. But a lot of us make them and then we feel like we can't do anything with them because we made them and we, you know, if we mess it up, we're, we're going to mess something up and it's horrible to do. You know what? This is a so what kit. I want people to use this. I want people to experiment. I want people who have never junk journaled to try it. And so that's what these kits are about. They're going to be affordable. They're going to be cheap. Um, and and they're, they're so what? You know, let's just do it. Let's play. Sorry, guys, I had to let my dog back in. <laughs> and so, um, you know, and, and the thing is, is it, the other thing that I love that Rachel says all the time is, if not now, then when? So if I'm not going to play now and I'm not going to try and put myself out there, and you know what? If this is a total mess, we'll cut a piece of paper and we'll glue over it and we'll be done with it. So what? Let's play. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. So I'm hoping today, um, in case you haven't noticed, um, I've not been feeling well. And so I just um, back kind of in the, the realm of my YouTube. And I just want, I'm hoping to inspire some people. I'm hoping to get you out there to say, you know, um, the other thing I hear all the time and we often shame people, and she talks about this in her book too, is, you know, people will say to me, how do you have time? You're a mother, you're a, you know, you work full time, and how do you have time to do this? You know what? We have to make time. If we don't make time, it's not going to happen. And so for me, oh, thanks, Erica. <laughs> so for me, um, this is my self-help. This is me doing what I love to do and hoping to inspire other people and hoping that, you know, in talking and sharing, I don't do this for a living. I don't make a lot of money on it. Yes, I have an Etsy shop. I love it. I do that because I share things with all of you. I want to support all of you. And I do these videos because I want other people to learn this and have fun like I do and use supplies and be able to get supplies at a reasonable price. So hi, Amanda, how are you? So that's just sort of my soapbox today. So I'm sorry if I, I went off on my soapbox, but I, I just want to say, you know, this is your, so what do it play in your play in these journals, have fun, add things in here. Um, and just, enjoy the time. The other thing I love about these kits is look at, first of all, they're cheap to send. Um, so they're not going to be expensive. The other thing is look at how thin this is. I mean, this can go in my purse and this whole kit can go in my purse with a glue stick as well as I could stuff some other little bits of paper in there, but I could literally take this, stuff it in my purse. And you know what? I'm going to find time every day to do something, and it's going to be in this kit. If it's not a full-fledged um, journal, I'm going to find time to do this because it makes me happy. It's fun, and I can do something in a short amount of time with not a lot of cost. 
All right, so this up here is pretty blank. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm not sure. So you guys, unfortunately, are going to have to kind of go along with my let me think through this for a minute. Um, I want to have a place to do some journaling. So I might add some coffee dyed paper. Hello, hello. I'm sorry if you're freezing. Um, you may want to go out and come back in. YouTube's been been kind of causing problems lately in doing that. So this is just a scrap of coffee dyed paper. And I'm just tearing. Tearing along the edges. Yeah, I agree, Erica. I think I'm going to make this a spot where I can journal. Um, and it, it's actually a little too narrow. So let me get another piece as I'm tearing here. Because I'm going to write about, oh, yeah, here we go. Look at, and look at all the, look at the texture in this one. So I'm getting, it's just a piece of coffee dyed paper. Oh, thank you so much for favoring my Etsy shop. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm just going to kind of set it there. I do want to put some fabric or something behind here, um, but not a lot, just a little bit, something that I can kind of So get my I have a little jar which I'll show you this is such a mess so this is I have this jar on my desk and in it is just little tiny scraps of um, muslin and cream colored fabrics and I leave that up there because a lot of times I'll just add just a little bit of cream colored fabric now you could use whatever color you want um, but in fact, I have this little piece, this little piece of white fabric here. Let's see. Nope. I don't like that. So I'm just going to see what I can do with some of this fabric and we may or may not use it. Great idea, Erica. She said, just write on it with a blue or black pen. I might do that. I might do that. Now, the other thing that I hear a lot of my followers say is, do I have to start on page one of the journal and do I have to start on page one of the journal and do I need to um, go in order? And my answer to that is no, you don't have to. Um, I do need to open up a new. Fabri-Tac. Um, so, you know, I'm going to date today's page. Um, and we're, we're four or five pages in. So what? So what? Now what? I'm going to, I'm going to use Rachel's <laughs> term. Um, because it's my journal and I, it doesn't matter. Now, if you, I am, I, and I'm going to tell you, you're probably, there's probably some viewers out there sitting there saying, Oh my gosh, I just can't do that. Well, let me tell you, I plan everything in my life, everything down to the minute of every day. And I am a type A personality big time. Um, this is my opportunity to go out of my comfort zone a little bit. It's messy. It's not perfect. It's okay. Try it. Now, I'm not saying convert your whole life into being messy and not perfect, but all right. So I like that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this image down. And I'm going to hold it. But this is an opportunity for you to just explore. Um, I'm putting this wet wipe over my Fabri-Tac. For those of you, um, I am not good with putting this on every time. 
Um, and so it starts pouring out the top. I don't know if any of you have that problem like I do. Um, but I found if I put a, um, or if I leave it open like this, it will clog up. But if I take and just throw a wet wipe over the top, it doesn't clog up and it doesn't pour out the top. The same thing happens with Ranger's glossy accents. So you actually have that clogging up on the end. Just take a wipe and just throw it over the end just like that and it will not clog up. I don't know why. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. Okay. Let's see here. I'm just gluing this down, gluing this down. Let's see what else I have that we could possibly play with. And then I think we're close to being done with this one. Um, this, this is going to be one that we can move on to the next, next chapter of our lives. You know what? I really think, and we're going to try it. And if we don't like it, we will cover it up. But I feel like, oh, hmm. and I can't find my little black, I can't find my black dauber, so just, I feel like I need a little bit of texture. What do you think? I kind of like that. You're not a planner? <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to plan down to the minute. It's horrible and it sometimes is daunting. Um, and it's just my personality. I'm kind of a perfectionist. All right, so there, we just add, look at how much texture that just added. And that was just really simple. Really simple. Okay, so now let me get a pen. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna journal right on here. So I want you to see the process and see I've made a complete mess. That's okay. That is okay. So we made this on July 9th, Now, I'm having a little bit of trouble because it's not completely dry and my um, my Sharpie marker is not loving that I'm um, <laughs> trying to write on it. All right, so I'm just thinking, um, I, I know I'm, I hope I'm not boring you. I'm, I'm trying to think about what is it that I want to put on here? How do I want to, how do I want to do that? Um, and so 
Um, I just said that this page was inspired by the planting of two hydrangea plants this year. The summer days are too short. Here in Michigan. And that's all I'm going to journal today on that. So we created this page and hold it up a little closer for you. Let's see if you can. So what do you think? We just created this page. And look at how beautiful it is. And next to it, I have this gorgeous um, houseplant, vintage houseplant page, which is why I chose to do this right here. So here, um, we absolutely could do some more journaling or we could be done. Um, but I'm thinking I want to make a pocket here. I think a pocket would be fun. So in this case, um, we are going to, I want to kind of tie this page and this page together. So we're going to get out, um, I'm going to get out my paint palette again. And I'm going to pull, I want to pull a little more of the blues in, a little more of the turquoise but I don't want it to be that bright. So I'm adding white to it because when I go over it this time, um, this time I wanna see the words, okay? So all I'm doing is zigzagging. And I'm leaving the majority of the words. All right, so I want to bring more of the white in. So now I'm just pulling the white. Now, while I'm letting that dry, we're going to do the same thing. We're not going to waste any of this paint that we have here. I'm going to pull up my mop-up sheet, and I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to use it on here. And we're just making a gorgeous, this page could be used in a journal as well. Um, or you can use it for um, collaging. I, I oftentimes use my mop-up sheets for collaging as well. Okay, so we're going to let this dry. Let me get my fingers clean before I make a big mess. And we're going to do two things with this page. We're going to add a flip out. Oh, I'm so glad you're new to watching lives. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining tonight. Appreciate it. All right. So. All right, we're gonna let that dry. We're gonna make a flip out. So we're gonna do a tip out and we're going to do a, um, and we're going to do a um, pocket. I am, yes, I'm putting paint on my finger. I got blue on this page and I didn't want to. But that's okay, because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go over it with the purple. So it looks like I wanted it there. There. And now it blends in. Okay. 
So we're going to do a tip out and I'm going to show you what a tip out is. Um, you can use pretty much whatever you want as your paper to flip out. Now this was already in my scrap bin. So all I'm going to do is fold it in half. And this is about a one inch strip. So I'm just folding it in half and I'm not doing a great job at it. But that's okay. So then I take it to my paper cutter and I don't like a huge hinge. Um, you guys can do this however you want, but I don't like a big hinge. So I typically try to get mine down to about a quarter of an inch. So I'm just trimming it off and now everything is straight. My hinge is nice and straight. And now we have to decide what are we going to hinge. So as I said, I want something that's going to flip out. Um, and this is going to be my little hinge. So let's dig into some scraps. I have this um, while you were out. I want that there, but it was the first thing that I grabbed. Um, the other thing, so let's see. Oh, I do have. Do have these little mason jars too that might be kind of cute to tip in. Oh, I love this bird. Look at this. I love botanicals and birds, you guys. So what if we used this? What do you think? And this hinges out so you can journal on the back. I'm sorry it's buffering. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, you guys. So I'm all I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut it here. And as soon as I glue this on, we're going to do a giveaway. So I'm cutting it kind of on an angle. Uh, whoops, I cut this on the wrong angle. Sorry, guys. I want to cut. So. I'm cutting it on opposite angles so that I can put it on here and my hinge is not going to show as much when I put it down on the paper. So we'll go ahead and hinge this little bird. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to do a little inking around the edges of this one. So switch my inkers. And I'm using um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink, the tea dye. Um, I pretty much only use two inks. One is Vintage Photo and one is tea dye from him. Um, that's just my preference. The tea dye is a little lighter. Um, I mostly use Vintage Photo. So, um, just use my Fabri-Tac because that's what I have on my desk right now. Are we still buffering, guys? Is it getting any better? Hi, Laura. We have two Lauras in the house tonight. Awesome. Okay. So I put my little hinge on. You can see I'm going to open it up. So there's my hinge. While that's drying, let's do a little giveaway. Okay, and then we'll be ready to keep going here in a minute. All right, so I'm going to leave that open like that. I'm going to move some things off of my desk, and I need to grab something for a giveaway. Hmm, what shall I grab? All right, I'm going to go over and pull a couple of things. Oh, we're buffering.
I'm so sorry. Hmm. Well, I good. Um, or do I need to just log off and, and start the whole thing or start over? I'd like to do a giveaway. I'm hoping that can everybody hear me? Okay, I'm good. Thank you so much, Laura. I appreciate it. <laughs> I, I'm glad. I guess I am alive. I'm so sorry. It's buffering. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so we're going to do a giveaway. Um, and that giveaway is going to be for a pack of these 12 um, hummingbird um, little note pieces. And they're perfect to make pieces. And they're perfect to make um, journaling cards. So I am going to get my handy dandy pen here. And I'm going to write a number down. Oh, let's see here. You know what? I'm just going to grab this little scrap piece. I'm going to write a number down between 1 and 20. All right. Um, let's see. Selena has her number. Laura has her number. Lynn has her number. Barbara, did you, yep, Barbara, did you pick a number between 1 and 20? Between 1 and 20. Okay, so the number, oh, I'm so sorry it's buffering. I feel terrible. All right, so at this point, um, we're going to stop, and the number is 18. Who is the close? Oh, my goodness, Selena, you are right on the ball. Lena, Selena won. I will get this in the mail to you tomorrow. You're going to get these adorable little um, note, note sheets. No, it isn't, Selena. You won. You won on my live the other day. Remember? You want a small ephemera kit. So you've actually won twice. All right, let's do one more. You won that little ephemera kit in my live when we were doing purchases. It's coming in the mail. You haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> All right, so the next. Um, the next giveaway is going to be one of my scrap packs. These are my jelly print scrap packs, and they are so fun to do um, to do collaging with. So this is going to be our next one. Um, this time, I want you to give me a number between. Oh, let's see. You are lucky with me, Selena. We're going to do a number between 30 and 50. It's going to be the closest number without going over. Go ahead and give me a number. between 30 and 50 without going over. Um, Erica, between 30 and 50, between 30 and 50, Erica. <laughs> That's okay. I know I was. I'm changing it up on you guys.
And what I'm doing now is I'm cutting one of the journaling cards from Grandma's Garden um, from Calico Collage. And I'm going to use that as my pocket. Okay. All right. And the number is 35. 35. Who is my person closest without going over? Um, you keep missing my live YouTubes. I'm sorry, Barbara. They've been kind of sporadic. Dodie, awesome. Thank you, Erica. Dodie, yay! You get one of my scrap packs. Congratulations. Um, for those of you who are winning these, I need you to email me immediately after the live at rachelreed2014 at gmail.com and give me your mailing address so that I can send these out. I'd like to send them out tomorrow when I send out all my other shop orders. So, All right, Dodie. All right, awesome. Yay, yay, yay. That's two. Okay, so let's kind of finish this up. Um, so any who wants to purchase one of these kits, and I have not uploaded them yet, but anybody who's on here tonight that wants one of these kits, um, they're going to be $10 shipped to you. They're only going to be a couple dollars to, to mail to you. Um, but anybody who purchases tonight is going to get a free gift with it. So if you want one of these kits, $10, remember it comes with a journal with 40 pages, 10 ephemera pieces. You're going to get a free gift inside. Um, and it's going to be very cheap. If you want one of these, let me know right away um, because I will only make that available today for anybody who was in here today. Remember, oh, Erica, you're going to take one? Awesome. And Erica, you're going to get an amazing free gift. I will invoice you. Um, and I will send you a message for those of you who want one. But I'll, I, I want to be able to give people a free gift tonight if you purchase it because you watched my live and you were here playing along with me. So let me know if anybody else wants one. Um, I want to do something with this hinge right here see how this is and it's white and that's fine but i love music paper and i just looked over and saw this little strip of music page that i had here so i'm going to cover that hinge up with this music page to give a little more oh you are so welcome hey anybody else who wants one tonight uh, I will be giving a free gift with anybody who purchases one of these kits. So let me know if you want one. $10. It's a deal. All right. So I'm just going to add this music page right here because it gives it a little more dimension, a little more design. Actually, I'm going to do this side. Um, thank you, Laura. Dodie, you want one too? Okay, let me write it down because I'll forget. <laughs> Just remember to email me, you guys. Just remember to email me. You guys are going to love these kits and you're going to love the free gift that comes with them. Yep, they're $10 plus shipping. All right, so the other thing um, I need to get in my shop and I haven't had a chance to do it yet is I'm going to be having um, $5 lace packs in there. And they're just going to be scrap packs, my mystery lace packs. Um, I'll show you what those look like. In just a second here while this is drying. I've been kind of getting some. I told you guys that I was going to be doing some new things in my shop. Um, so it'll be coming up. So these little lace packs are packed full. Um, there are a lot of lace in these packs for five bucks. Um, and they're lightweight, so they ship very light. 
Um, anybody who wants one of these. Oh, absolutely. I can show you what's in the pack again. Just a second, Amanda. I would be happy to do that. Um, so those these packs are going to be $5 plus shipping. Oh, Eric, you want a lace pack too? All right. I got your name on one. All right. Yeah, they're cheap. You can never have too much lace. And I, the thing I love about lace is everybody kind of gets a little bit of different, a little bit different um, <coughs> laces in there when they purchase them. And there's a lot of vintage laces in there. <coughs> you want one too, Miss Diddy Doo? All right. What's your first name, Miss Diddy Doo? Diane. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, thank you, thank you. $5 plus shipping. It's a deal. You'll love those scrap packs. And anybody who purchases, I, I didn't plan on doing a live sale, right? Um, I was just kind of talking and I wanted to play. But anybody who purchases something, you'll get a free gift. But anybody who purchases one of these kits, um, so the kit is what I'm working in today. And um, someone asked me to show it again. So there's 40 pages of just random papers in here um, and then you get 10 pieces of ephemera in here plus a free gift today for ten dollars plus shipping to you um, and you can do your so what journal and you can do the same thing I'm doing by just making an idea journal um, and practicing in something Linda you'd like some as well okay Linda, I have you for a lace bag as well. All right, so I have Erica and Dodie for the journal kits so far, and I have Linda and Erica for the lace packs. Okay, so I added this little piece here, added this little bit. Um, I have this gold paint and I want to add some of it. So what I'm going to do is, um, let's see, I am going to do a little bit, so I'm adding just a little bit of gold. I know you can't see it here, but if I, I've got such a mess on here. I can't, and I'm getting my little dauber. Hi, Kathy. And I'm just, adding some gold. Periodically stamping it on. You know, I'm just not loving this this stamper today. I don't know what is going on. It works seems to work okay with the it's not working well with the paint. So I don't know. Maybe I need to, but that's okay. It still put some gold in there, which is what I wanted. Um and I'm just kind of blending it in, blending that gold in because it's gonna give some shimmer. And I'm going to put a little bit of the gold along the music page. All right. Now, we need to do the pocket. And I'm thinking because I loved this and I love this saying, bloom where you're planted. Um, I'm going to use this as my pocket. So I'm just inking it up. Or let's use. Let's use this maybe not as a pocket. Maybe let's tuck that in. Let's use some more of that scrap paper up. Let's get some of that stuff that we have sitting around um, and let's use it up. So let's do some more collecting. Um, I am going to get a book page out. 
because all of us have plenty of book pages, right? So here's a book page. Now, um, always, always, always be careful of book pages if you're going to sell a journal. Um, be careful what they say. Um, want to offend somebody. So I'm just using a ruler because I want a rough edge look to this. And I am just ripping paper into a pocket shape. Now, this book page is kind of old. So I'm going to double it to ensure that we don't have any ripping. So I'm just taking it and folding it on itself. Make sure it fits in here. Yep. And then I'm going to take this and rip this off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this together. Now, you could sew this if you wanted to. And, and on a different day, maybe we'll, we'll play in our Sew What journals and do some, do some um, sewing. But not everybody. Okay, thanks, Erica, for coming. Yes, I have Linda's name down for a lace pack. Thank you so much. All right. So we're going to just add this little pocket. And we need to dress it up a little bit. And I want to tie it in to here. So remember when I said I had that mop-up page? We had this mop-up page. Well, this is how we're going to tie it in. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up the edges. And then we're going to create a little band of the purple and teal to kind of go along with the other side. Bye, Selena. Thank you so much. And Selena, you want me to message you? I'd be happy to. Thanks so much for showing up. Appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome, Laura. Thank you so much for, for coming. Enjoy dinner. Appreciate it. All right. So we're going to be done shortly here. But I do want to show you how to do this pocket. So remember, we had that mop-up page. And so I'm just going to cut... Uh, inch and a half, it, an inch and a half strip. And we're going to add it here. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm just using my ruler tearing. Oh, it's almost midnight. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining everybody. All right, so I'm just going ahead and I'm gonna just put this on. We're just gonna do it in the middle. No, do it down just a little bit. I made it just a smidge too long, so I'm going to straighten that up. And I now have a little space for a journaling card. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue around three edges. To make my pocket. And we need something here. So let's look and see what came in my little kit. 
this was one of the pieces that came in my kit, which I kind of like. Um, but what else was in my kit? Oh, this little tag, this little ticket was in my kit. So I think I might use that little ticket. I like that. Let's. I have some of my fabric washi tape that I make here. And we're going to use a piece of this. And I'm just cutting it on an angle. Once you stick this down, it does not come up. So make sure you know where you want to put it. And I'm just going to put this little tag on here just like that. But I am going to ink up the edges of this so it'll be a little more defined. There we go. Let's see. How do I want that? Do it just like that. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this down. And I now have another drilling spot in here. So we just made two pages in these junk journal kits. And they're absolutely adorable. We did different techniques. We did mixed media. Um, we used a variety of supplies up. Nothing fancy. Nothing that people don't mostly have in their house. So I hope you like this video. Um, I hope you head over to my Etsy store and check out my kits that will be in there. Anybody who purchases one tonight, just email me if you want one. Um, you'll get it for $10 and then you will get a free gift. Um, after that, they're just going to be $10 in my Etsy store. So check them out. They're wonderful. If you want to send them, they're really lightweight. So they're great to send someone for happy mail. Um, and any other questions? I'm going to go ahead and add my Etsy shop in here so you guys go on over there and check it out. There's going to be more and more items added each day. So please um, check it out. I am just starting out um, and I I do a lot of lives, but live sales. Are we still buffering or are we... Can someone let me know if we're buffering or if we're good? I'm adding just a little bit of color to this so it's not so white. I'm good? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I decided to add a little bit of color to that so it's not so white when it's open. Um, but yet you can still you can still journal on it. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to the other thing, I'll show you one more thing that I like to do sometimes is to take a stencil and I have this flower stencil if I find it. Let's see here. Here it is. Here's one of them. Okay. I have this flower stencil and I use it a lot, but I like to sometimes just take it
and ink over it. And you can write right over it, but it gives just a little bit more dimension and a little more fun. And then you can always just do certain parts of it. You don't have to do the whole thing all the time. And then sometimes I will take it and right now I'm going to put a new flower in, one that's not in the pattern. And you absolutely can do that too, which is kind of fun. You can make your own pattern. So they're all different. Yes, I'm using the same stencil each time, but I'm, I'm using a different flower, a different pattern. So there you go. What do you think, you guys? Should I cover it all up? Or is it worth keeping? <laughs> so here's the two pages that we created today. Um, this image right here in this journaling card was from Calico Collage. This um, was also from Calico Collage. I can't remember which kit. Um, it's one of her bird kits that she makes. And I just love it. I, I can't wait. This is going to be a great thing to take out one morning while I'm having my coffee in my garden and just write a little bit about my garden here. And um, you know what? I want to do something on the back of this too because I want it all to match. So I'm just taking this and I what I have is I've already kind of wet this sponge to get the paint off. And so it's kind of creating a watercolor effect, even though it's not watercolor. Um, I'm going to stencil on here too, just to tie them both in. So on this one, we're going to kind of stencil like this. Yeah, stenciling makes a big difference. And you can, I do it a lot on just coffee dyed paper. Um, a lot of times I'll leave a plain coffee dyed page in my book and not add anything to it but I'll add a little stenciling to it and that makes a big difference. Um, a big difference. So I'm just going around here. There. And so that ties in. And if you didn't have, if you didn't have something that was already printed on one side, you could just as easily, this would be just as pretty this way sitting in here and matching. Isn't that gorgeous? So simple and easy project. We did two pages and it was great. We had fun. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close up my journal. Um, and we, oh, I do wanna talk about the techniques we used real quick and then I'll show the journal one last time, the journal kit. Um, so the techniques we used were mixed media, um, and we used, we painted, we remember we used our, um, our uh, gift card, we did some stamping, uh, we did some stenciling, we did some collage work, we added a little bit of fabric, and then we added a image on top. The image could be a printable, it could be a, a, something from a magazine, um, it could be something you ripped out of a book, anything like that. Okay, so that was page one, and then we just wrote over it. Page two, we did the background the same, leaving more of the text, though, so we could see the text through. We could see um, the words of the, the plants. We added a hinge. We covered the hinge to create some more dimension, added a pocket. We stenciled on the back of both of our cards. We added a little bit of water to our acrylic paint to make watercolor. You guys, when I first started, I didn't have watercolor. Um, and so I had to be a little more creative. And so the one of the ways that I was creative was by using my um, using my acrylics as a watercolor. So I don't know how many of you have actually done that, but but definitely, um, you know, think about that. So this is our little book. 
This is part of the kit. I'll be doing different pages here. Um, and I hope that you guys grab one of these books and one of these little kits. Anybody who buys one today um, will get a free gift. They're $10. They're all different. Everyone is different. So no two are alike. Um, the little kit comes with a book. It comes with over 10 pieces of ephemera inside. And um, it's just a great way to learn how to do some, some amazing things. So I hope you liked this. Hope you liked this video. Um, and I hope that you join me. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And just remember uh, that it doesn't matter what other people think. We do this journaling for ourselves and we do this art making for ourselves. So share your work, um, enjoy the process and have a fantastic evening, everyone. Bye, everyone. One last thing. Sorry. <laughs> Before I say goodbye, if you wanted to purchase something, please, please, please send me an email right away as soon as we log off at rachelreed 2014gmailcom um, so that I can get you invoiced and get your items out to you tomorrow. Um, I will send you a PayPal. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. I love you all. I appreciate your support. Have a great day. Bye.